G'day, Alistair here. We're going to build the same application we did in the previous video, but this time we're going to do it in a cross-platform way so that it runs on multiple devices. And to do that, we're going to create a new multi-device application. A blank application is fine. We have a number of templates here as starting points, which uh, have a partially built user interfaces, but we just want a blank application this time. And we're just going to build the same user interface and code that we did previously. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. You might notice that the button caption property from VCL is text in FireMonkey. We use the on change tracking rather than on change event on the T edit, as the on change event is only fired when we exit the control and on change tracking with every key press, which is a little bit different from the VCL. And we'll save off our project. We can now run our application on Windows by clicking the uh, Run with Debugging button. And we see that our application pretty much behaves as before. Now we're interested in the uh, multi device aspect of this application and we can preview what it looks like by selecting the um, platform style and going to Android and we see that things are a bit larger on Android so we'll give ourselves a bit more room something like so and we can go back and see what now looks a little bit different on Windows but that's just fine if we wanted to get advanced about things we can have our uh, master view and then we can inherit various other views for different platforms. So we can um, have all the controls we want on the form, and then we can customize them for each different device so that they are laid out how we want them to look on various different sized devices, such as tablets and phones and what have you. Further to that, let's go to the multi-device preview. And I've got some devices here. Let's zoom out a little bit. No, oh, we'll go, we'll go big. So this is how it sort of looks on iOS and an Android phone and Android tablet. So what we see is that our application sort of occupies the top left hand corner of, of the screen in, in each instance. Not so bad on iOS, but uh, definitely an issue on these Android devices. And it, it might be different on different iOS devices because they have different resolutions. So what we want is for our controls to expand to fit the available space. And that's easily done with anchors. And I'm going to tag the uh, all the corners of our list box. And we see that now it's expanded to fill the bottom section of our, our application on each device. And what we wanted to do is have the button anchored to the right. So we'll disable the left anchor and Add the right anchor and now the button sits on the right hand side and we'll add the right anchor to the edit box and now it stretches to fill the available space and we can also preview this, preview this behavior in the IDE just by resizing uh, to see how it looks now this is all excellent what we want to do is compile our application for Android so if we come down to the target platforms uh, and select an Android device. Now, if my phone was plugged in, you'd see it here, and I'm going to go and do that now. And we can see that our target was synchronizing, and my phone is now connected. And I can now run the application with debugging. I've sped up compilation and deployment to Android. A big advantage in Delphi is you can do much of your testing in Windows, where it's much faster. And we can see our application running. And I can attempt to type test. I could also go into the application and set a breakpoint. And if I actually type test this time and go add item, we see that our application is stopped and we can inspect our data while the application is running. 
And so we get full, full debugging on Android, which is quite excellent. And that's pretty much all I wanted to demonstrate for this video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one.